Good afternoon, students. My name is Vinay. Today I'm going to take on beer topic. In this beer, today I'm going to cover the two sub topic that is introduction of beer, and second one is about ingredient of beers. So today, the first, as I told you, introduction. In this introduction, I'm going to explain the definition of beer and also the little history about the beer, how it is came to the world about know about the beer. Okay, the first one is the definition is the beer is a portable fermented alcoholic beverage. I repeat, portable alcoholic beverage made from the bottle. It's nothing but portable is nothing but safer. So it's a and it is made from the barley, the the grain which is used as a the barley here, the barley bean fermented. After the fermented, it became alcoholic beverage and it is safer to drink, is known as beer. I repeat, the beer is a portable fermented alcoholic beverage, it is made from the barley. So, as I told you, I repeat, so barley is a grain, it is took and it being fermented. From the fermentation, you get an alcoholic beverage, is known as beer, which is safer to drink. Is known as the beer. In this, generally, the alcoholic power will be 3.5 percentage to the 8 percentage is a general alcoholic. It can sometimes it will be high alcoholic can go up to uh, go up to 13, 12 percentage, not more than 14 percentage. So generally, you might be seeing less than 3.5 also, but in generalized as per standard, it should be 0.35 to 8 percentage. How the word the beer that came into the existence. First, from the word they took from the barley, this barley they called as a beer. Later on, it been converted into beer. So that's how the, the beer name came into the existence. The barley, it has been called as a beer. From the bear, it been called as a beer. That was the barley has been converted into the beer. Now we in the world, now at present, we call as a beer. So how it is now let me tell about the little history how the beer was made actually at the time not many tribes in the middle east right now in the middle east there was a, some tribes it's called at the time of not many time they we called so these tribes what they should they started the agriculture so when the excess of they do get the product the agriculture they made a example they make a very good yield the crop come uh, this year. So the excess they used to store, the excess of the product, like example barley, they started cultivation barley. This barley came more actually, the, beyond the cultivation they got. What they do, generally we store. So these tribes also, they started storing and uh, they store this barley. So the at night, so because of the moisture level in the air, so this moisture went and like you know reacted and fall on the barley the moisture which is nothing but the water so what happened the barley start absorbing the water it start germinating it start germinating and it start like you know the water being absorbed and it start the barley will start into bulges bulge which is nothing but the starch is converted into sugar in the barley and you might be getting the stores also coming into that and these people, these tribal people understand this barley like, you know, something gone. It's been like, you know, next been formed. We cannot be used for something, uh, cannot be used for general for product consumption. What these people do, so they made into forage. They started, they made into powder and like, you know, uh, they start mixing with the water and they convert it into forage and they left in the open tank over there. So the after living in open tank, what happened in air, they have a, in air we have a natural yeast which is present. This natural yeast fall or contact this beer, like in a porridge. Generally we have porridge, right? We kept in the tank. So this yeast started reacting this, this, uh, this porridge and been started fermented. The yeast fall on this and started fermented and you get the beer that time somewhere beyond 7,000 years old before I'm talking. So this is how accidentally, without knowingly, the beer was formed. So so I repeat, there was a tribe at the time of nomadic, at in the Middle East, 
those people they start doing like it's early kind of like starting the agriculture they started doing agriculture they start making the product called barley when they get excess crop they start storing this this barley so what happened because the moisture level in the air the beer the barley grain started fermentation they understood that this is not like you know easy to consumption they started making to break the barley and made into mix with the water and made into kind of a porridge and they left in open like you know tank over there and this without knowingly they in general what happened in the air we have a natural yeast this yeast reacted with porridge and started fermentation and they that so the beer was made and formed that time and the tribe started drinking and they really enjoy the taste and also they see some alcohol content in that so they, that's how the accidentally the beer was made it was somewhere happened before 7 years before 7000 years before just imagine such a old drink and today the beer is one of the highest consumption in the world after water and the tea the beer is the highest consumption levels in the world is third one is almost took place by the beer so at startedly as when you go about a little bit of history more first egyptians egyptians used to as per the record the egyptians used to start drinking the beer somewhere about 5000 years back later on it was been spread out, like you know in a dark ages after the like you know 3000 years or 2500 2500 years ages back it was started converting to apes or the monstries apes are nothing but which are the christianity the the these are the people who are try to are the priest it just kind of a priest and like you know beyond this people are highly educated abyss abyss and these are people are highly educated and these people try to do new inventions new kind of a development new kind of a thing that time so this apes started doing this taking as a making the beer so after the egyptians after the egyptians it went into the household most of houses used to start making the beer then later on in the dark age it went went to the apes this apes as i told you these are the priests and they're like you know they are like just like a scientist kind of people they started with a new invention these people started making the beer the people who come to the pilgrim or the church they used to start offering some beer to them and somehow they used to fulfill their financial requirements so these people started understand that uh, this can go into more into commercially to sell the beer later on this this what you call roman roman as well as greeks started adopting the method of making the beer and this people this roman and uh, greeks you know that they travel all over the world by occupying the world they into travel into the world and whenever they carry they adopted this how to make the beer they adopted how to make the beer the techniques of how to make the beer and whenever they travel they also the this techniques also they went example they went to some new place so they have a habit of having the beer so they started uh, they captured some new place they went there and they established the making of beer they they they, they started uh, making the techniques they started making the techniques of learning how to make the beer to the new people over there so that's how the the making of beer been expanded to the world and that's how the beer also started making into commercially people making and selling to the people all over the near to the areas so that's how the beer started selling into the more into commercial way point 3 in this is these people also the romans and the greeks they added a new techniques till that before they started having the beer into crude manner that's like you know crude it's unclarified it's like you know still they have a not been like you know filtered kind of thing but this romans as well as the greeks they into the techniques been added to into more into finest beer so that's how the world 
nose to the finest taste to the beer is given by this Greeks and Romans. This is all about the little bit of history about the beer. Now today, the beer is made generally, before that time, the beer is made only with a barley. As a traditionally, the beer is made only with a barley. The people love the taste also. But today, the new techniques or the new things, the cereals, the like, you know, grains, like, you know, maize, wheat, the rice, are also can make with the beer. Now, there's no kind of like, you know, surprise that the beer also can be made with the rice. Yes, we can maize or maize beer. Yes, the barley is a traditional corn beer. Yes, we can make with that also. So, as I repeat, as a traditionally, the beer is made from the barley. So, and today, the beer is used as a, one of the refreshing drink, in especially in summers. The people, the highest consumption in our Telangana state is the beer, especially in the summer. It acts like a, when you're thirsty, it will be fulfilling your thirsty. So that, that's the reason people love to have the beer as well as it gives a refreshing uh, to the people. Uh, that is the reason. It's the highest consumption in the state of the, in Telangana. So this is what I repeat. I repeat about the introduction. The beer is a portable fermented alcoholic beverage. It made from the barley. I repeat, the barley, the grain, it's been fermented. And after fermented, it's been turned into alcohol. And it is safer to drink. It's safer to drink. It is known as called as a beer. The base generally, it has an alcoholic percentage is 3.28 percentage. How the word came basically from the barley, it's from the bear. From the bear towards to the beer so that's how the word name came later on it was found in somewhere 7000 years old at the in the middle east at the, at the nomad tribes it's a kind of a tribe of people which generally at the start of starting age of the cultivation of agriculture these people started making of barley when they get the excess crop they start storing this beer started storing this sorry barley and because of this climatic conditions of the moisture which is present in the night and the air which the air water has been reacted the moisture been reacted to the barley and the barley started getting fermentation and they understand which is fermented they're getting started getting sprouts kind of a spray it kind of a thing so they understand they better to store what they done, they break the barley into and they mix with the water and they made like a porridge and the leftover like open. And in the as the as in air they have yeast, the yeast started reacting this porridge and accidentally formed the, the fermented, and that's how the beer was came, came into the world. So first it was like somewhere it was as per record, it was like history tells us the Egyptian is to having started making of drinking of beer. Later on in the dark ages, this apes or the monsters used to start making the beer. And not only that, the people used to come, the people used to the come for the pilgrim to visit, like you know, people used to travel or the come to the pilgrim uh, like Christianity, the church or something, they used to offer this beer. And they fulfill this uh, financial needs. So that's how the people started making to more into commercial selling. Into That's how the people understand the beer can sell to the world. Later on, the Greeks and the Romans, these people started adopting or learned the techniques of the, like, you know, how to make the beer. And they started traveling towards all over the world with the knowing to the techniques. Whenever they enter into the new country with the conquering the country, and they entered, they established themselves, and also they started making to learn the new techniques to the people around there. So that's how the people, the hundreds of the beers started expansion to knowing to the world. So, and also the Greeks made something like, you know, invited into, till that time, the beer was into more into crude, crude way of drinking. It's not purified or the alcoholic, the alcoholic percentage is very low. Later on, they introduced with the new techniques, the Greeks and Romans, they made into one of the finest of making of beer and also the people start enjoying the actual the beer but today beer it can also make with the cereals like can make with the maize the wheat and rice etc 
and today why the beer is the one of the highest consumption in the world because the beer is act like a refreshing it's treated as a refreshing not only refreshing it will be fulfilling your thirstiness especially in the summers we have more or like no thirsty so the people once so they drink the beer they feel like they they find they absolutely done with the, like you know they are happy they are fulfilling the thirstiness of the the summer so people love to have the beer in especially uh, i want to add on something like in india preferably the most indians love to have the beer without fruit without fruit the people indians like to have the beer but wherever you go into europe or most into like you know central the people love to have more with a fruit so i'm going to explain what is a, how its taste what will be will be increased in next class so next topic i'm going to cover on the beer ingredients today what are the ingredients required to make the beer number 1 is barley number 2 is water number 3 is yeast number 4 is hops number 5 is fining agent so these are the five ingredient required to make a yeast number 1 is barley so how you choose this barley how you get this barley so how you going to select this barley and in the barley what are things will be there and what happens with the barley we'll be going to see in this so basically the barley whenever you choosing your barley the barley should be having high starch and the low flavor we require the basically to make the good beers we require low flavor and a high starch we require so basically the grain which is there the barley they should be having a divide in between that the best quality of a the barley you have to choose whenever you choosing that so what happened the the taste come to the beer from the mainly from the barley so what happened in this process is we try to take the barley we try to germinate the barley how we try to soak the barley in water and what happened this barley absorbs the water this barley can be absorbed for 2 to 3 days of water and it germinates it expands 2 to 3 times the grain is like you know it's like you know 100% within 3 days it bulge into like you no know, 3 times of that grain it absorbs the water internally by absorbing the water the starch which is there it been convert into sugar but still it has unsoluble starch is also available in barley which will be converted into later process but the basic thing you should understand is when absorbs the water the starch which is there in the grain it try to convert into sugar example i'll give a small example when you take a grain the sprouts the sprout what you do you try to soak overnight in the water and we take out and we'll try to see and what happen you start getting this spikes yes so what is that and also if you feel absorb that is also more sweeter same way here also what i start that is nothing but germinating so here sure sugar is developed in that you might be seeing this grains are more sweet compared to before so it absorbs the water it convert the starch into sugar that is the reason if grain is more sweeter same happen with barley also when you soak the barley for 2 to 3 days it absorbs the water the starch is converted into sugar that is reason the grain is more sweeter it develop the sweetness in sugar levels in the the barley that is a is nothing but the technical term the malt enzymes the enzymes which is a malted which is converted into diuretic the technical name the malt enzymes is converted into diuretic that is nothing but the barley here as explained the grain starch is converted into sugar in the germination process that's a basic thing uh, that happens in the barley so to get a good taste to the beer the germination is important the malting is very very important we call it as a malting how much you malt that much you get the the taste to the beer it should be good germination should happen in the the malting of beer so malting is very very important process of making the beer so as i told you i remember this barley i repeat number 1 when you choosing the grain the high quality of the grain the grain should be will be high starch and the low flavor and 
there should be the grain should be divided to one by two part. There should be small line you find this thing. That's a good quality of grain you require to choose the barley. And also should be low protein should be there. So what happens? We take the barley, we'll try to soak in the water for two to three and two to three days. This grain absorbs the water and it bulges into two to three times to the actual soil. What happens inside is the starch is converted into sugar. There's nothing but the malt is not the malted enzymes which is there, it converted into dietes. The technical version is known as malted enzymes is converted into dietose. Dietes. So that is where the chemical reactions happens inside. Nothing but the sugar develops in the grain. So actually, I'm practically talking the sugar develops in the grain. So that is nothing but malting, malting of barley. Okay. So nowadays, even we added 10% also like, you know, maize, wheat, rice, millet can also can go 90%. When you're making the beer, 90% should be in a barley and 10% should be other grain to get a good taste or the penance, different flavors or to help in the formation of like, you know, uh, converting into more into uh, the time of uh, fermentation, this helps that. So that is the reason that 10% of also can be added into different grains also go into that. This is all about the barley. Second one I'm talking about is water. Water is a very, very important. So water, generally why was the second ingredient talking about the water? Generally the people talk that the beer is a, just a barley water. What is that? Just it's just the barley and the water. Yes, it has a 90% of water in it. It has a 90%, some 80 to 90% of like, you know, generally has a water content. So basically, what type of water you add into the beer? Generally, we add two types of water. One we, we know is soft water and third, second one is we have a hard water. And also we try to add some minerals. It's good for health. Yes, it's give a more flavor. But what gives the soft? Generally, example. Let me go with an example. The water, which is a soft, which have a less of minerals, uh, like you know, which is uh, less of minerals, less of like you know, uh, magnesium, a lot of minerals, which are very less. Nothing but it can be take of more quality. Example. I'll give a small example. In a plain water, it's a very soft water. It's a just plain. There's a nothing in that, in the water. There's no minerals. Nothing is there in that. In that, if you add some color, it makes very well. It gives some taste to that. It gets, it, the water having the zero, there's no taste to that, right? It tastes very well. Give some flavor to that. It makes exact flavor to that. There's nothing but when the plain, when you give something very stronger, it takes, example, I'll give a small example. A person is there. Example, a person is a very soft person. When you, very good attitude person. When you tell something, you'll try to take it. Because it's very soft guy. Because when you're giving a good, when you're giving something good, when you're giving something good, so the person will take it. Yes. Because it's very soft and same with happening with water. Water is very soft. There's nothing is there. When you give taste, flavor, color, it takes more well. That is the reason soft water being used to make a strong beer. That's the reason we make bitters, alleys. So we try to make the beer, which is strong beer, made with the soft water. Because the water is nothing. We try to infuse more of flavor, more color, more taste. The water takes it. It's perfectly to make the strong beer. How to go with the hard water? When you talk about the hot water, hot water already having a lot of minerals inside. It has like, you know, calcium, it has a magnesium, it has like, you know, a lot of impurities it also has. It already has some kind of a color, it has some kind of a flavor might having, might be having some kind of a, a taste could be having to the hot water. So we cannot do much with that. That is the reason we can make only soft beer can make. We very light beer can go is with a soft soft water, sorry, hard water. Hard water can be made with a very light beer. Why? Because hard water already having, it has some, it is already like example. I'll use one more example. A attitude, which is a, like a person is very, uh, a person of like, you know, already experienced, already have some uh, 
bad attitude uh, it's like you know already is full a person is already full with this character if you tell something he don't take much because he already have him inside he is already full with this thing if you start educating him he don't may he may not take that because he already full this is all the same the the water is already full with in terms of flavor color and taste so mixing with something it cannot be taken it cannot water cannot mix well so that is reason the hard water used to make soft or light beer so you should understand that uh, how what the hard water and the soft water how when we use this one i repeat very very simple very easy hard water in used to make light beers the soft water used to make hard beer hard beer nothing but bitters alas stouts so that's how we make the beer that's how the water been used to make the beer generally we have even mineral water it's nothing but we give a more enhancing flavor to the beer so to get a more flavor we try to add the minerals to the water this minerals will help to give us more flavor to the beer so this is all about the water number 2 is water and before we discuss about the barley now and third point i'm talking about yeast yeast basically we have yeast is nothing but a, a living enzyme which is a unicellular organism basically it's kind of a it's kind of a organ it's kind of a it's a multi it's, it's like you know unicellular it's like you know uni it's a unique and it is a multiple kind of a, like you know organism it's a group of bacteria or like a group of a organism which is there it's a life which is our it's a, like you know live it is so when this i'm not going in depth we have even have a natural yeast also available even especially if you go into europe till today like example belgium they use a natural yeast to make the beer which is in the air which is the in air they have a natural yeast they try to take the just after fermentation they just open so the they it react to the air and it will be like you know uh, it start rea- it start getting fermentation and also we have a culture yeast which is man made the scientist or the man made the yeast is known as culture yeast basically the man made basically so the natural yeast is very weak it cannot be tolerated it cannot be tolerated with the temperatures or like you know contacting the air naturally it cannot be like you know uh, it's not very strong but the man made or the culture is it's very very strong it reacts it holds at it holds at its survival will be very good at the temperatures so that is the way the difference it is so in the beer process we try to make two type of yeast one is saccharomyces cerevisiae second one saccharomyces carlsbergeni i repeat saccharomyces cerevisiae saccharomyces carlsbergeni we try to use these two types of yeast in making of beer why what makes the difference saccharomyces cerevisiae is a beer is a type of a yeast which we add when we put this yeast a type of yeast in in the fermentation tanks at the time of fermentation at the time of fermentation tanks the reaction the fermentation happens at the top and we have to give the temperature the tank should be maintain the temperature at 15 to 25 degrees by this we get a stronger beer i repeat this is a kind of a yeast i talking about saccharomyces cerevisiae at the time of fermentation when we add the yeast in the tank when you add the yeast into the fermentation tank the fermentation happens at the top of the bottom of the tank second thing we have to give temperature 15 to 25 degrees then only will be this yeast will be acting by uh, will be active otherwise the yeast will not work the fermentation will not happen what this actually and this you get a stronger beer by this second one yeast is saccharomyces carlsbergenis what it do this is a second type of yeast when we add this type of yeast inside the yeast immediately go to the bottom of the tank and the fermentation happens at the bottom of the tank and we have to maintain the temperature at 5 degrees to 9 degrees 
then we are going to get the light here nothing but lagger beer we are going to our output will be the light beers when i repeat when we use this carlsberg and is yeast when we put on the tanks the yeast directly go to the bottom of the tank and it reacts at the bottom the fermentation happens at the bottom and we have to give the temperature 5 to 9 degrees and this will be you getting a light beer this is very very important for your one mark questions or two mark questions this is a technical you might be add in the interviews also might be asking this type of the questions to you so i repeat we have a two type of is saccharomyces carlsbergenis and Carl saccharomyces cerevisiae the service time go over the top of the fermentation and the temperature is 15 to 25 degrees and you get a stronger beer carlsbergenis we go for the bottom fermentation 5 to 9 degrees temperature and it give the light beer but what happen but what happen when you add this yeast to that this yeast what happen is when you add uh, when you add this yeast already you have a sugar this yeast to go and eat the sugar and releases the alcohol and carbon dioxide i give a small example when you go into the bakery you might be uh, the dough the flour is ready what you happen you make activated the yeast tum kya what you add you add little bit of sugar and the yeast and warm water yes so by this what happen the sugar the yeast will wake up by adding warm water it will be wake up and eat the sugar and start fermented then you see the froth coming out that is not the activating the yeast so here also this this is a general happens in this in the fermentation process so this is all about talking about the yeast second one i'm talking about hops you can see this picture you can see this picture this is called as a hops this is a one of the expensive and uh, this hops are basically it's a one of like you know living life saving to the beer these are the taste which will be like you know it act like a preservative number 1 it gives a flavor to the taste it gives number 2 is to give the flavor to the beer and also it acts like a something like you know taste changing like you know, it's very dry it's very dry and tannin taste will be given by this hops and the bitterness the bitterness is balanced with the sweet when you do this malting you have some sweetness in the malt the beer has some sweetness the sweetness is killed by this bitterness of this hops the this uh, this gives a dry taste to the beer the tannin and the dry taste you get to the beer by this hops the acid level which is a even it has some acid level this try to act like a preservative natural preservative to the beer so the beer shelf life will go up to 6 months because of the hops which is helps to preserve and helps to like you know hold up it does not easy to spoil and also it gives some floral like you know flower kind of a like you know citrus like lemon orange or like you know a sweet lime this is a citrus you can herbal like you know you get the plant flavor like you know you have a different plant like mint sage or you can go like you know uh example so mint sage or like you know you have some like you know cilantro uh, coriander this kind of flavors you get so i repeat you get a flower citrus like a uh, flavors like herbal you get the taste to the beer this is how you're going to i repeat hops will be giving three things first it act like preservatives it gives a flavors and third one it kills the sweetness of the malt and you try to give the bitterness which like basically dry dry is nothing but there is no sweet inside the basically some beers will be completely dry because of this hops will try to give the bitterness to the beer this is the fourth category i'm talking about the hops the fifth one i'm talking about is the fining agent this fining agent is nothing but basically to clear the basically to clear the clarify or uh, it act like something uh, clear or clarify this fining agents uh, example Uh, in minestrone soup, you add some egg drop, white egg, so that it clears up. Same here also, it act like a clarify agent. So we try to use this icing glass or Benetton clay or gelatin. We we'll try to use these three different things to make as a fining agent to purify the beer. So what is this icing glass? You can see this. This is basically sturgeon fish, which is available in Mediterranean Black Sea. It is mostly nearly in Russia. 
this sturgeon fish they have a gall bladder this is called as a gall bladder this they try to trick it out and they keep dry and they make a powder this powder is nothing but icing glass this is very expensive uh that is the reason people try to go this benentine clay this is again the clay which is available in a very soft clay which when you add they try to pull down the, all the impurities gelatin also to try to clear the clarify the agent so this is the three things which we are going to add uh, to make the uh, beer to clarify in this class today i explain two topics number one is about the introduction of beer next one i told about the beer integrant so i hope you enjoy the class and thank you